Good morning, guys, and welcome along to the Fat Profits Research webinar for this Wednesday, the 18th of February. Seen with ANZ, obviously, that is a, yeah, a very nice looking chart uh, over the last five or six years, and really it comes down to four years or so of, of record earnings and record dividends being paid out. It does still fit very nicely into a stock that will benefit from uh, a falling rate uh, because the dividend yields are so strong and people are looking for that return. Greg, can you give us a bit of an update on, uh, on what our thoughts on ANZ are at the moment? Yeah, I mean, obviously we've uh, we've had uh, positions in the in the big uh, in the big banks for some time as well, the, well as the regional ones, inc including Bank of Queensland. And uh, yeah, with respect to ANZ, obviously we've done pretty well in that position, um, more than doubling. Plus, obviously, of course, you've got those around about eight dollars worth of dividends as well since we put a buy on it at seventeen dollars. Now, part of this, of course, has been the uh, super normal profits that the banks have been earning in recent years on the back of the housing market. Uh, we did actually take profits across the board on, on the uh, on the key banks. Um, again, it was sort of just because I suppose we felt that going forward we weren't going to necessarily see the same share price outperformance that we have certainly since 2009. That was part of the factor, but we're retaining a long-term position. We do think the interest rate environment is going to remain uh, low, if not go lower. We're looking at another RBA rate cut, and that's going to benefit ANZ on a couple of fronts. Firstly, obviously, it is a, it is a, a high yielding share for a start. So you are looking at, uh, that, I suppose, that thirst for yield continuing to drive um, demand for ANZ, I guess, as well as other stocks. So you're around about that 5%, uh, just over a 5% yield. I suppose, obviously, the, uh, the other thing that's going to happen as well is that low interest rate environment is going to keep some strength coming through in the property segments. And if you're looking at the trading update from yesterday, that's uh, an area of division that's continuing to perform uh, pretty well, both in Australia and, and New Zealand. And that's also what's going to un underpin those uh, dividend payouts. The company said it's going to pay, maintain the payout ratio at 65 to 70% of profit. Uh, as for the result, came in at a um, cash profit of 1.79 uh, billion, unaudited statutory profit of 1.65. Uh, so the cash profit was up, through that strips out volatile changes, that was up 3.5%, uh, uh, which, which was positive, and also you saw strong growth in customer deposits, they're up almost 9% as well. So yeah, those, those, the underlying business there is um, doing pretty well, and the, the capital side of things is it's good as well. We I suppose they've had a bit of a weak spot is on the uh, international and institutional banking side. So that's um, I suppose taking the gloss off a little bit. But yeah, certainly we're happy to hold uh, ANZ uh, for, for medium to long term position, which uh, will, will continue to benefit from that low interest rate environment. Obviously, also offer a good yield as well.